right. What's up, y'all? In today's video, we're going to be talking about some Quest Rogue. Uh, you know, the deck that everybody's talking about because of the unnerfs that are happening. Uh, everybody's scared that this might potentially be a tier 1 deck. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, you know, suppress some of those fears. I don't think the deck is, like, anywhere near Dark Lear or Secret Mage levels of powerful. It is much better than I thought it would be, though. I think it is a solid tier 2, tier 3 deck. Um, and so this deck does have clear weaknesses against stuff like Secret Mage or Odd Demon Hunter. Decks that are super aggressive and can also keep them off the board. Uh, but again, this deck is very similar to Quest Mage, where it kind of auto-wins a lot of the slower matchups, slower grindy matchups, like against Priest and Odd Warrior. Uh, so definitely a deck to, to keep an eye on. Um, had a little bit of fun playing it today. So this is the list. Uh, the general mulligan strategy is very, very simple. You're looking for, <laughs> you're looking for quests, and then you're looking for your fly booters, whether that's through the fly booter or the parrot itself, and then you're looking for one bounce. Uh, it's a very, very simple mulligan. Uh, so a couple tricks uh, against aggressive decks, right? These are the matchups that are really, really hard. Uh, the, the biggest thing is trying to maximize the amount of swing that you can do when you do complete your quest reward, right? Got to complete the quest as fast as possible, uh, but trying to maximize it so that you have one ones that potentially stick on the board or the ability to like prep quests and then play a crab rider and immediately swing the board back into your favor it's really really important in those matchups uh and then against stuff like priest and odd warrior uh the biggest thing is like spacing out your threats right especially uh especially against something like priest and odd warrior that can clear your board fairly consistently because uh, we don't have a lot of charge in this deck we're not running uh the deck hands for the the ability to do like 30 or 40 at a hand uh we're all on drawing the fly leader as fast as possible so we're a little bit better against aggro a little bit worse against control but against control you're still very 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 favored and it's all about spacing out your threats right with the derailed coasters uh, and being able to shadow steps to the derailed coasters or immediately bounce them back to your hand with daring escape uh and so it's it's a lot of resource management but the, those matchups are very 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 favored for you yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys are interested in any deck list that i'm refining uh for quest rogue or any of the other list uh, that I'll be playing over the weekend. Uh, make sure you guys join the Discord. I update those fairly, fairly regularly, and I'll be doing that especially for the new expansion next week. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please. You have to rebuild Reno Hunter to focus on the beast because you have to take advantage of Buzzard in that deck. So, is Warlock any stronger? Q Block is much stronger. Yeah. Le Perot. Okay, um, so I have one fly booter. I need a way to bounce the fly booter. Uh, key block with birds and drain soul. Pretty good. Yeah, so if I killed that crab rider, I wasn't technically dead to the hand, right? <laughs> and then I could have come back and win that game. Oh, that's kind of disgusting if I didn't screw up. All right, what's our best draw chat? Second fly booter, daring escape, shadow step, second parrot. Love the feel of wind in me face. Mm, can I get this quest out next turn? I can't get the quest out next time. I, I just don't want to throw this out here and just get it eaten by the, the weapon. I want to play as many pirates as I can in one turn. This is the feeling I'm getting. Maybe this was wrong though. Because I could, I could have played three and then I wouldn't have daggered. But the next time I could have daggered plus play the other two. Oh yeah, that's what I should have done actually. God, my brain is, like, not functioning. I probably should have played this deck first. This deck part is probably the most thinking out of all the decks I've played today. Uh, <laughs> uh, did I put a list somewhere? Yeah, the deck list that I have refined are over in my Discord if you want to join that. There's a channel called Revert Decklist that I would uh, check out. Oh, that's interesting that they didn't want to stick the 1-1s on board. All right, so now the question chat is, do I want to get this 2-3 down and draw a card? 
I think I do. Of course it's the right way. Because next time I can play the other two prep quests, right? That's why I at least get to draw a card first. Oh, uh, yeah, with the flame tongue totem. <laughs> True. I did mess up a lot playing that deck, huh? Wait, what are you noping, Mad Doctor? What are you noping? So many options. How was quest work against Agar? I mean, it depends on your draw, right? And what kind of matchup. Secret Mage is pretty unwinnable, I found, but... Or so I've heard. I haven't played much quest work myself. They like... They coined the Daring Escape as well, right? Which makes me think they don't have prep. They don't like the questings? I like the questings. Turn 2 questing is like probably the best play in the deck, right? <laughs> ah, interesting. So unless they have second broomstick, I, I didn't. I don't think I liked their line where they like coin daring escaped that turn. It felt bad to me. I don't know if it was bad, but it felt bad. I mean, I could just put them to two. <laughs> I think I'm just going to keep them in case the top deck like a coaster and I'm going to need to play it. I can always just play this from hand. It's fine. But yeah, I mean, do you guys understand like why? Like they, they took the 1-1s one off the board, right? So they could have left two 1-1s one and I could have only killed off one. So they could have killed off an extra 1-1. One, one, and the Broomstick could have cleared off the 2-3 as well. So like they had... I think they had the ability to not be in the situation what I'm trying to say. I see okay, so they are desperate for a broomstick. I guess I really should have played this last turn, huh? Am I going to get punished for this? <laughs> Shit. Please no punish. Alright, looks like no punish. Night Tribute just sucks at Kingsbane? In my opinion, yes. It's so much harder to, uh... It is so much harder to corrupt now. None will survive. Hmm. I wonder if this matchup is actually okay for the Odd Warrior. This is like the second or third Odd Warrior I've seen today on Ladder. It might actually be fine, right? Because we don't have infinite value. <laughs> Looking for Parrot. Found it. Alright, let's keep this armor total down, okay? <clears throat> so, Flybooter. Daring, second fly, and I have this prep for the quest. <laughs> yeah, Swindle looked 
much better already. Alright, so they have Risky Skipper Barrel in their deck, otherwise they wouldn't be running Inkar. Okay, I actually like Shadow Stepping here, instead of Daring Escape, because I can do uh, Boar Boar Daring Escape Boar Boar. So I have to play two of these, right? Okay. So we actually hold our, our two here. Force them to risky skipper this away. And then we can do last two prep quest. I'll show you yep. who's boss. Let the pain speak. I will go ahead and preemptively punch here, just so they don't get two draws, they only get one. Have a good night, poor devil. Can you... Can you, can you not do this, friend? Somebody fell asleep on their keyboard. It's worth daring escaping this back to my hand. Alright, Lost Shape. We're gonna use better words than that, alright? To describe things that we think are insane. We're better than that. I mean, so these are all five fives with rush, right? I think that daring escape was fine. Oh, I have another one. Sweet. Yeah, I don't really need secret passage with a full hand. I'm alright with that. Oh, losing the boar sucks though. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. That one hurts. <laughs> uh, that one, that one's a new. Hmm. I mean, it's just tempoing out two at a time, you think enough? I think tempoing out two at a time is enough. And I, I can just do the derailed coaster plus daring escape thing again. I don't know. Like, if you're the odd warrior here, like, I, I want to play around Brawl. And I don't, like, I want to play around Flurry, right? So, like, do you Flurry a 5-5 five five and a 5-3? I don't think you do. And so, like, if I can keep hitting him in the face with these, like, I'm totally okay with that. Okay, this is kind of nutty, here. Yeah? This is kind of nutty. I, I kind of also like just tempoed out a crab rider here now because I find I get so many five fives into my hand now. Astonishing.
All right, so next turn we'll do Derailed Coaster for five. Seven. No, I probably play the Boar first, hit face. Then Derailed, then Flybooter, then Daring Escape. Is that right? Something like that. Just fill up my hand with these silly fly fives. Oh, well, this was dumb. <laughs> Wait, I miscounted. Oh no. I just killed off some innocent little Dark Moon Riders. What did I cut for the Swindle? Uh, the 2 3 questing. Is it Tenmu better than Zola? Well, Zola leaves a 5 5 on the board. Is kind of the big thing. Like, leaving a 5-5 five, five body on the board is an insanely, like, important thing. Damn, it's kind of insane how much value you have with just, like, bouncing coasters, huh? <laughs> it's kind of insane. Manaworm is back? Manaworm sucks. It's at 2 health. <laughs> Manaworm is not back. I wonder if it was ever worth to bore there, just that they had to use a brawl. Wonder. Should Seeker Major on Mana Worm? No, not a two health. Can you play Even Shaman without Stormbringer? Yeah. I'd run like a Sea Giant or something though. Make make it so that your boards of measly totems are actually threats. I don't think that card's a steal. Like, if you don't have it, like, you can run it. Just run like a Sea Giant. That's not true, dude. It's not true. In fact, Corbett builds his Even Shaman without Stormbringer, so... <laughs> and I think Corbett's a little bit of a better play than you. No offense. So, I think it's fine to cut. There are no more pirates in my deck, right? Like, I'm not gonna redraw if I play this 5 5. I think we're just gonna, like, grind our opponent out here. So, like, if you join the Discord and scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a, a channel called uh, Revert Decklist. And so I would just click that. I have links, pictures, and comments on, like, what I still kind of want to refine. So. I check that out if you're interested. Alright, let's just win the brawl here, chat. It's easy. Let's just win the brawl. Nice. Dude, wait, shadow stepping the coaster is actually kind of disgusting, huh? <laughs> it's actually kind of disgusting. I have a second one in my deck somewhere, chat. <laughs> I 
One, two, three, four, five, six. This is full board. Gets brawled. I had to like triple check that I was playing against an odd warrior. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Alright, let's play this. For a good time. This. And I'm gonna go ahead and bore the face here. And the reason we're gonna do that is so that they can't hear a power flurry. Like at this point I don't need the, the OTK from the boar, so I think this is fine. Okay. Well, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Playing Quest Rogue kinda feels you can play infinite cobble crystal runners. <laughs> it is actually, yeah. It's kinda disgusting how much value we've had. It's not anything so much with 100 biddies. Maybe I should have played the boar and then kill Bear off to play around Bladestorm. Yeah, maybe I should have. In hindsight, I didn't think that they were running double Bladestorm to be fair, but yeah. In hindsight, I should have. In hindsight. So this plays around like the second blade storm in their hand. Thing is, like, if they have the flurry, they're gonna be able to play it here, which is kind of annoying, but. Damn, the randomly generated Deadman's hand might be. <laughs> might be game losing, to be completely honest with you. Alright, Crab Rider? Crab Rider? Fuck, dude. <laughs> One, three, four, five. If Odd Warrior becomes like super popular as a way to like counter Rogue, I think we just like put Miscreants back in the deck. We'll be fine. Waited too long? I think we're still fine. Don't worry. I think we're okay. I'm presenting 30 on board, right? Like, I still have like three or four turns. Do you hit the second bear off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the dead man's hand actually fucks us over because they shuffled another risky Barov and another um a, another blade storm into their deck. Kind of obnoxious. Uh, I'll play a five five here as well. Let's play around it. Uh, yeah. Like the randomly generated DMH is the reason we're gonna lose this game. I think we win this game regardless until they hit the the random DMH. So what are the last three cards? Second armor vendor. Well played. Are you just not running flurry in your odd warrior deck? Wow, you're actually not running flurry in odd warrior. That sounds like trolling. 
That like straight up sounds like trolling. You're not running flurry in your odd warrior. Wow. You just because you get the the zero mana draw to in Mizaki Mage, which is just like insane. So I would wait to play Mizaki Mage until next week. But it's fine. It's like a tier four deck. Like it's gonna just die at a lot of aggro decks, but. Why well, play Mizaki Mage over Waker Mage? I mean, maybe they just want to play Mizaki Mage. This game brought to you by Gamblers Anonymous. No gimmick LMAO. <laughs> it's okay. We won't tell anybody, chat. Confidentiality. I think Valinger Biddy's stranger. <clears throat> Do you think prize plunder is worth looking into for board control? Uh, I mean, maybe. I think if you do that, you cut the parrots, but then you also want to run deckhands. Because the deckhands will be 5-5s five to the charge, right? So then you have to free up four slots. So what are the four slots you're freeing up? That's the question. Tell me if you've seen this play pattern before. Quest on one, parrot on two. <laughs> fly booter, daring escape, fly booter. Four one ones, quest completion. <laughs> Can I play you please? So we played Quest on 5, we derailed Coaster on 6. Uh, is Ship's Cannon a good replacement for Nitro Boost in Kingsbane? Yeah, probably. It's, should be fine. Damn. We got kind of lucky that they didn't have Dark Lair into like Giant's Broomstick. Fairly fortunate. Leroy? Ah! I'd rather I'd rather you run Ship's Cannon over Leroy. Kingsman can ill afford to have dead cards in hand. And Leroy is the definition of a dead card. Like honestly, like if you want something like that, I'd run an Arcane Golem instead of the Leroy. Because that way it's at least easier to combo with um That way it's at least easier to combo with uh what is it? Oil? That's the card name, right? <laughs> Uh, if they get low enough, like below 10, we just kill them with Stone Tail Spore. Go lower, go lower. Oh, you're not gonna pinpoint your face? No balls, opponent, no balls. It's a great draw, actually. I think the only way we lose is like double PO into Zeph Wind Fury. Okay. Cool. GG's. <laughs>